Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Nick Ten of Level. I'm 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 gonna talk to y'all about my my um. He's like a YouTube inspiration. When I say YouTube inspiration, not that I want to be just like him, but the things that he says and the things that he points out make sense. Nine out of the ten of times that he he says something, a dude named Travi based. Travi Williams, Travi based, whatever you want to call him. He's on YouTube, Travi based. You should go subscribe and like his videos because he talks the truth. I I don't I don't know anything that he said that isn't truthful or from his heart. And like to me, anybody who who doesn't see any of his stuff as interesting or understands what he's trying to say and understand that he's just not, not trying to get famous, he's just who he is. Like a dude named hashtag awesome or whatever the hell your name is. Like bro just because you ain't got as much viewers or subscribers as Travi doesn't mean that you have to go and bash the dude on stuff that you don't know about trying to say that he's a wannabe tough guy. Do you know him in real life? Because if you don't know him in real life, I don't understand how you can know that he's a wannabe tough guy. That makes no sense to me. So, like, it's like a tweet I just posted. If you got a problem with me, text me. If you don't got my number, you don't have enough, you don't have a problem with me because it makes no sense that you don't even have my number to have a problem. It's it's as simple as that. Starting YouTube beef makes no sense because that's all you're trying to do. You're trying to say that he's a tough guy. You're trying to say that he's pointing AK-47s at the camera and stuff like that. But clearly, the gun that he put up in his last video, if you look closely and use that thing that's in your head, you call it a, a, a brain you'll see that there's orange around it so like he spray painted it to to oh, I don't know what he did it, he might have spray painted it. Who, who doesn't know who knows who doesn't know I don't know but I think if you're sitting there bashing him about oh um he's a wannabe tough guy cause he has his tattoos he has his AK-47 which is wrong because he don't have an AK-47 tattoos Tattoos don't make you a tough guy. Sometimes tattoos mean something to you. So I have a friend at school who has a tattoo of an owl on on her leg. Does that mean she's a tough girl just because she got a tattoo? No. That means it means something to her. I have friends that have tattoos that mean nothing to them. But they still have it just because, I mean, like, it looks cool on them. Who knows? Maybe the bear on him means something to him. You don't know that. So... You bashing him about his tattoos and saying that he's a wannabe tough guy just because of it makes no sense. Then the next thing, the lip ring. The lip ring is his swag, basically. It's his his style. If if you don't like the lip ring, don't look at his lip. Simple as that. Like, I don't know what else to tell you because it's just like hashtag autism or uh, what I'm not saying how right, autism but hashtag autism, whatever your name is like you don't know him personally to be able to say that he's a wannabe this he's a wannabe that or he's lame or whatever you want to call him if you don't like his videos just don't watch it like it's as simple as that just don't watch it block him from your from your timeline whatever you need to do just don't watch his videos because all you're doing is making our fans like me mad. And that's all I really got to say. Deuce.